Hey, how's it going, Paul? Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video that I made for you. Um, this video is going to give you a great understanding of your position on Google and show you if prospects in San Diego can find you when they're looking for a heating, ventilation, air conditioning company or a plumbing company, okay? Um, so I just want to jump right into the video. So as you can see, we're on one of my business pages. My company is Amp Local. We do web design, SEO marketing, uh, pay-per-click management that's for your Google AdWord campaigns um, and we also do lead generation okay we build out websites can get them ranked in any city and corner the market for whatever uh, niche market that you're interested in or maybe serving so let me just jump right into the video so as you can see we're on your website all right so 82 percent of the population is on Google all right when they need a product or service they're going to use Google all right so whether that's your getting your carpet clean, whether you need a heating and a ventilation system installed, you need a limousine because you have a wedding coming up, you need a wedding planner, um, you're looking for a real estate or new house, I mean you name it, anything, you need to find the nearest gas station. Um, this is what people use nowadays, I mean some other sources are being in Yahoo but they're a very very small percentage compared to the 82% of the population that actually is on Google. Um, so it's very important to understand that so that if you have a very strong SEO marketing campaign, if you're highly visible on these top keyword searches on Google, you will literally get all of the market and, and uh, you'll be very visible and get all those valuable prospects funneled to your business for them to spend money with you versus your competitor. All right. So um, Google has an algorithm on how it does this, right? It, it has 200 determining factors, okay? I'm not going to talk about all of them, but I will talk about four of the very most important ones. Everything else kind of falls into place once we nail these four, okay? Um, the first one I want to talk to you about is content and keyword research, okay? Um, I'm going to spend a little bit more time on this one. It is very important um, on the front end, and uh, just bear with me. The video is going to be about 10 to 12 minutes. Um, so I'm gonna just jump right into here, all right? So authoritative content. What I mean by that, you know, when on we are on, when we are on your home page, do you have like 1,000 to 2,000 words of relevant keyword research built into your home page? So you do plumbing, you do air conditioning, you do heat and heater repair, uh, ventilation systems, uh, stuff of stuff of that nature, right? Um, but Google needs to see. Uh, really elaborate and authoritative content on the home page mentioned for the city of San Diego as well okay so you do have you know plumbing in San Diego and air conditioning in San Diego you have all these keywords but are they the most relevant ones that's what we're we're, we're trying to figure out here right also you want to have an ample amount of information you want Google wants to see that you're educating your the prospects in your page so a thousand words is usually the golden uh, standard for your home page okay and um at this point, from what I can see, you're not there. You're not quite there yet. Okay, but we can get you there. Um, so keywords. I'm gonna show you kind of like where you are versus your competitors. Okay, and then I'm gonna talk about how we're gonna get you there. All right. So HVAC San Diego. This is one of the biggest keywords for what you do: heating, ventilation, air conditioning. Okay. Um, your top competitor in this keyword research is um, Guthier and Sons Heating and Air Condition. Okay, the number one maps. Number three, organically, okay, um, and you are actually not visible on this keyword whatsoever, okay. Um, I searched the top ten, pa the ten pages. You're not there. If you're not on page one, you might as well be on page twenty, okay. Ninety-one percent of all the clicks come from here. Um, Thirty-five percent come from here in the maps. Another thirty-five come in the organic, and then if you're running ads, which we don't have at the moment, I don't see any ads on this page. There's an ad at the bottom. Um, another 30, about 30%, 20-30% come from that. I just want to show you real quick this chart, what I'm talking about. All right, so number one person gets 35, about 35%. That's organic and then your maps. Okay, so that's about 70% total right there. And as I was saying, the ads is about 30%. So you're looking around, that's about 100%, right? Um, give or take about 5% from the numbers that I threw at you. Um, but it's very important. If you're number one, you, you get all the market, all the clicks, okay, most of them, all right, uh, and as it trickles down, if you're number 10 on page one, you get maybe 3%, okay, so um, as of right now, you're not getting any of this action for these major keywords that we're talking about, so awesome, I just want to show you that real quick, okay, so a strong uh, camp uh, SEO campaign would have a Google AdWord, 
uh, top of the maps and top of the organic listings. So you can literally pull 99% of the market if you're at the top of all those, okay? You can be a very dominating factor, uh, dominating presence online, okay? Um, so these guys, just to give you an idea, um, HVAC gets searched around, you know, eight to 10,000 times a month right here in San Diego. So if you're at the top of those searches, I mean, that's, that's huge for you and your business, okay? That's just one keyword. All right, um, so this is what your competitor looks like. He's getting 41 clicks a month, and he's also doing uh, AdWords 130 clicks a month. Some of his top keywords are obviously HVAC San Diego. He's getting 40% of his business from that. And then just simply HVAC, people located in San Diego, Google knows your location, or typing in HVAC, he's getting 26%. So about 75% of all of his business is coming just from this word HVAC. So knowing this, we can simply add it to our keyword research and get at the top of those searches. So that's huge potential for your business here. Um, also heating and cooling is getting 12%, heating and air is getting like two to 3%. All right, so this is a great, knowing this information, we could build some real good keyword research for your homepage. Um, next one, uh, you do plumbing, right? So plumber uh, gets searched around, again, 10,000 times per month here in San Diego. So how, mu how much of that pie are you really taking, all right? So um, Plumbers San Diego, your top competitor here is BillHow.com, okay? And for this one, um, let's see, I actually found you. It took me a while. I did search and search. I, saw, I found you page 13, okay? And you're ranked number 128 right here. So that's really far back into the, to the rankings, right? For HVAC, um, you're actually not visible for that major keyword there, okay? Um, this one you're really far back. So at least we know where you're at here. So knowing these keywords we can build you up So this is your other competitor Bill Howe. He's getting a lot of attention. He's getting between 900,000 and 1,000 clicks per month um, He's doing very well. He's got a solid AdWord campaign running. He's getting 2.3 clicks from that um, So huge potential. So here's his keywords obviously his business Bill Howe. So that's referral based people already know about him um, plumber San Diego getting about 17% and San Diego plumber is getting about 12%. Okay. So again, more keywords. So I've already started a spreadsheet for your keywords. So we've got plumber San Diego, San Diego plumbers, HVAC San Diego, HVAC heating and cooling is another one. Um, that one's getting about 12% of, uh, of, of business right there. Heating and air and air conditioning, uh, air conditioning, another good one. All right. So let me show you another one of your competitors. This is a uh, ASI heating and air. They are pulling in huge business because they're such a domineering factor. The presence here in San Diego, they're getting 2000 SEO clicks and it's mainly coming from their name ASI. Okay. They're getting 40, 40% of uh, business just from their name. Okay. So here's what we can do with that. Here's the referral keywords. Here's the, here's your top three competitors right here. What we can do is we can actually build in key, these keywords on the home page and just mention, you know, referral base. You know, these are, uh, you know, some other companies that work in what we do. If you're looking for another plumber in San Diego, you know, you can just simply just mention them on the home page or, or on an internal page. Um, and honestly, you know, a lot of people don't even read uh, the pages, you know, but this will show Google that you are friendly in your with your competitors um, and it'll show your prospects that you know there is a network and a partnership and an agreement between you guys okay so this is really good for business too and most importantly you'll be having those keywords built into your website so you can actually take some of that traffic from them and pop up on those searches okay so when someone searches Bill Howe uh, in San Diego they're looking for Bill Howe but guess what they'll see either at the, uh, below them or above them they'll see you Okay, so that's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to get that traffic, so get you more of those clicks. Okay, and you you will get that. You know, people will say, well, let me give these guys a try or something of that nature. Okay, so the very very powerful stuff here. This keyword research is very powerful. Um, we're pretty much reverse engineering the competition. That's how we come out on top. That's how we become successful. Okay. All right. So now that I showed you um, where your competitors are, let me show you where you are. So here's your website, tarpyheatingandair.com. Uh, okay, you're getting about one click per month. Okay, um, 
and your top keywords that you're getting is strictly referral based right now. You're about 60% of business comes from someone simply already knowing who you are, Tarpy Plumbing. Um, and then this is a very specific keyword, indoor comfort heating San Diego. So um, that's a popular keyword search right there. Um, so we definitely want to keep that going, but we obviously want to reach out and grab some more attention from the internet. Okay. So one more word I didn't put in here. Let's see, heating, heating and air. I think it was San Diego that you did pop up on, but it gets um, it gets about twelve percent. See here, here's ASI. They're getting twelve percent of their business from that one. Um, I believe you were ranked on the second page. Let me just make sure. Yep, you're at nineteen right here for that keyword. All right, so if we got you up just in this one keyword, this is probably the most visible one you are. Um, that you don't currently have that we can get you the quickest. So this will get 12%, take away 12% of the, your competitor's traffic from this keyword, okay? So that'll be very easily attainable. All this is very easily, easily attainable process, okay? So that's keyword research, okay? Everything I talked about, keyword research, very important stuff, okay? Content, I mentioned content to you. We wanna build 1,000 to 2,000 words on the home page. I just want to give you an example of what authoritative content looks like, okay? I typed an elephant on Google. Look what's number one, Wikipedia. I'm going to click on that real quick. So Wikipedia is notorious for popping up number one because of authoritative content. Look at all this content on the page, the evolution of elephants, um, what they eat, their habitat, uh, everything, okay? This is probably 50,000 plus words. I'm not going to read all this. I just want to give you an idea. Authoritative content is just ample amount of information, educational information that is relevant to your topic, okay? Relevant to a heating and cooling and HVAC plumbing company in San Diego, okay? Mentioned many times, okay? This is very important. It has to be in the description of the page, has to be in the title of the page. Uh, you know, when someone Google searches, um, this is your, this is the title of your page, you know, and this is your description. So are you mentioning all those things? HVAC needs to be in here. Um, you have heating and cooling. You don't have cooling in there. Um, you know, plumber is more popular than plumbing. We got to get those keywords in there. So that's very, very important. Okay. So that's content keyword research. That's one determining factor. Let me talk about the other three. It's going to be a lot quicker. Okay. Um, the first one, citations. We also call these business listings. Okay. These are very popular. This is how we get our name out on, on the internet, on all these different listings. Okay. Some examples, Google, obviously, Yahoo, Bing, Facebook, Yelp, Yellow Pages, and White Pages, okay? Just some examples. These are the list of the top 50 in the country, okay? When we do these, you have to have your business name, address, and phone number identical because if not, Google's going to slap you down. So you have a 75% error rate, okay? And why is that? Your business name is different throughout. So here you're Tarpy Plumbing, Heating, and Air, but here you're Tarpy Heat, Tarpy heating and air you left out plumbing completely okay right here the phone number is completely different from the other ones the address you this one's listening in uh, row drive versus uh, mission gorge okay Alvar alvardo canyon road okay so i mean you probably you know your business has probably moved around you probably changed phone numbers you know maybe you changed the name of your company maybe you added plumbing later on okay this is normal business this is normal things but but it's very important to understand that when you make those changes, you have to make those changes in your online representation, okay? And you have to be listed in everything. Look, this one you're not listed in. Uh, these two you're not listed in, okay? You're not listed in a lot of these. So Google's not taking you serious right now, especially with the 75% error rate. Just keep in mind, this is the top 50 in the country. There's thousands. Over time, we want to get you listed in hundreds and hundreds of these, okay? And this is definitely something your competitors are, uh, are, are really doing. They have an SEO guy doing this for you, for them. Uh, trust me on that, okay? So if they're going to be at the top of those searches, they are, um, they know what they're doing, okay? Because to be aware of this information that I'm giving you and to actively go out and do it and know what you're doing, um, it takes a lot of motiva motivation and experience, um, and you have to know what you're doing. So obviously somebody's working for them. So we definitely got to get these fixed for you and add hundreds of these to you over time, okay? Next, I want to talk to you about backlinks, all right? We also call these influence pages. So say you have a client that's thoroughly impressed with the work that you did at their house, okay? Whether you uh, fixed or repaired their air conditioning system or 
you know, if they're plumbing or anything of that nature, say they have a website, write articles or a blog, they'll actually go, what happens is your client or anyone could actually go write an article on the internet and link your website to their website. So anyone reading that article can read the great work that you guys did, um, which I'm sure you guys do all the time. Um, and they'll click the link. Now you have a new prospect, you know, come and uh, pur purchase your services. Um, but most importantly, Google sees this as a vote, okay? Google is a popularity contest. The more votes you have, the more chances of you to win, okay? It's like running for president or any cabinet position, okay? The more votes you have, the more chances you are of winning, okay? That's exactly what these influence pages are, okay? Let me show you these numbers. These refer referring domains means that you have three websites on the internet mentioning your website five times. You have five backlinks, okay? on three websites. That's pretty much what that's saying. The trust flow is of 17 is the quality of those referring domains. Okay, so let me show you this chart. At 17, you meet medium quality. Okay, you're about right here. Okay, high quality is considered 20 or higher. Okay, what's great about doing business with us, we have unlimited amounts of linkable influence pages for you to link to okay we write tons and tons of articles we've written articles on any and everything even how the air force uh, refuels their c-130s it doesn't matter what the article is about it's all about that if it's a high quality article if the trust flow is high and if you are linked to it that's all that matters okay we actually have uh, backlinks that are rated 25 plus and 30 plus Okay, so these are very high, powerful, high quality backlinks. Okay, so this number is 17, you want to see it over 20 minimum. Okay, but we'll get it over 25 because we have very powerful backlinks. Okay, and over time, you want to see these in the hundreds, these referring domains and backlinks in the hundreds. Okay, this is very, very important. This right here is directly responsible for getting you ranked in the organic listings, okay, right here, these backlinks. And the citations where you have a 75% error rate, that is your local listings. These are directly responsible for getting you ranked in the top three and number one of the maps, okay? Just those two things alone, okay? Again, the keyword research and the content, all that's very important, but without these two factors, you will not get there, okay? Very important stuff. Okay, I just want to show you real quick, okay, the backlinks situation, all right, your top, one of your top competitors, ASI Heating and Air, okay, this is what his trust flow looks like, 37, okay, very high, look how many backlinks he has, uh, 850 backlinks with 149 domains on the internet, that's very, very strong, okay, so this is definitely something you're lacking in, okay, and to get you, number one, we have to get you linked to some high quality domains okay and get them linked over time more and more okay if you're going to be more and more competitive this is going to secure your your business's future online okay this is very important for you to understand early on now okay um so there's huge potential for you to grow here online huge potential okay so that's backlinks the last thing i want to talk to you about is being mobile friendly okay now 680% of people, when they need a product or service, they're going to use their iPhone or Android or mobile device. Okay, so you got to look great on a phone. Most importantly, Google takes it very seriously. I threw you are mobile friendly. I did the test here, as you can see. Awesome. This page is mobile friendly. Okay, but I just, it's one of four of the most important things that Google looks at. So you are mobile friendly, so we don't have to worry about doing a, a web redesign. We can simply just jump straight into the keyword research, the content building your local citations and then getting you linked to some high quality domains okay so good um, that's awesome on that one right there so uh paul that's pretty much it i appreciate the time you took to watch this video um i really hope this makes sense for you and your company we would love to work with you um after reviewing this if you just want to hit me back email me or call me uh, we can take the next steps uh, to increasing your exposure online again Thank you for your time and you have a nice day.